Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, make a few food items. Uh, you, you, you. Right. Again, uh, shall we? And we have a mm, some some fruit. Nice. And uh Yeah, let's just do this, uh Daddy. Okay then, so uh, we still have a road. Oop. Here we go. Right, uh, we, uh... Oh, give me a minute. Oh, uh, also, what I did in between episodes was I uh, went ahead and uh, you see all these stars right here? Yep, they are marking where the. Hey. Wesker. <laughs> what the hell was that? I've marked her where the shrines are. So, uh, using a horse. Right, we're gonna have to soothe it so we, so we can get us, so we can control it a little easier. So if we could just do this, uh, press the A button, and then we can just use it smooth it a little bit. We should have this horse. Oh. Yeah, it's got to. This is gonna take a little bit of a while. Okay, let's not. Try to drive it over here. Let's. Okay. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, just a bit of Not bad. Okay. Come on, let's go. See another tower over there, but that's not our main priority. <laughs> I know exactly who this is. Shaka laka! You, you can see me? I can see your voice. <laughs> Shara ha Wait. Shara la da! Shara la ka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my red barriers back from them. Well, we're good. I expect to struggle with that. Yeah, because when I first tried it, I was like, I died. Like, it was my first time playing the game, and I still hadn't mastered all the controls yet. So, yeah. Anyway. Just a bit more food items. Not bad at all. Yeah, we'll keep going. That's me. Okay, open this up. Hestu's Maracas! Hestu's beloved Maracas! He's been shaking them since he was two! Uh, 
Aww, ain't that nice? Huh? Shalaka Kala! Those are, those are my markers! Give them to me! There you go, I don't want them. What I need for markers. Shalaka Ha! Alright, what? But wait, there's something wrong with my markers. The Korox seed inside are gone! How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I only got one Korox seed, I could use them. I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have to use power of inventory expansion. So, so, you, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. The children of the forest have my, have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved Maracas. I never thought I would the target of one that prince Shoko. Hmm, but wait, do you have a Korok seed? You do! You have a Korok seed from one of the forest of the children. If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. I like a, so which stash do you want me to... Do you want me to... Do you want me to... Do you want more slots in the boat? The wet stash. Shall I like a hair? <laughs> da! Na 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 na! <laughs> Your weapon stash is... Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it to Kakariko Village in today's episode. Probably, but I don't know. Okay, yep. Get back over here, Wesker. Okay then. So yeah, that's Hestu. And it's just, as he said, you want more? Those Korok seeds have a use. Those Korok seeds actually have a use in this game. They allow you to expand your inventory. So, yeah. There are... Hang on a minute. There's one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah. You're boring. Let's say something. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. the Korok. There's a, yes, there's only, there's only a measly 900 of them, and uh, don't worry, you don't, have, you don't have to collect them all. The completion's already done that for you. Oh, hello. Like, what is this? Is? Ruby! So yeah, the completionist has already done that for you. If you get all 900, all 900 of them, you get one thing. A great shiny piece of poop. Alright, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Kakariko Village. Oh, finally here. I didn't realise it was that closer. Traveller, I'm sorry, but I've seen a twist at my ankle. Let's see. I'm sorry you've seen me like that. Traveller. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Object hang, hanging from your waist. Well, you see? Yes, I see. The Sheik Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. Though there are a few who know such legends anymore. We are the Sheik. We are the Sheik. We are. But we, Sheik, have been waiting for you for a very long time. Bef please, before anything. Before any. Before all else, you must meet with the art lady. With our leader, Lady. In case you're real, in case you're real, honour to see to meet you. I suppose you you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. I'm not 500 years old. 
I'm actually 117. Anyway, we need an easy way to get here because I'm going to guarantee you we're going to be here quite a few times. And luckily, there is said way. That's the stem right here. Anyway, the Tala Shrine. I know exactly the shrine. And uh, before I do anything, let me just eat these apples. Wait, man. This shrine's actually going to be quite useful. <coughs> It's not just any shrine. This is a teaching shrine. Let's get a better shield out, actually. One that isn't broken. I can see those chests inside. Oh, I'll deal with it in a minute. Use a side hop to avoid enemies' attacks. This will create an opportunity for you to, si to strike back. Okay then, so this is where we start learning the more. Yes, sir. so when you do something like that, you will be able to do a flurry rush, do a backflip to avoid enemy strikes and create an, on op an opening attack to strike back. I need a weapon first. Ooh, ooh, didn't see that. There we go. A flurry rush just basically allows you to do a bunch of ing, bunch of quick attacks. You can repel up. You can repel if you parry with your shield at the right time. Strike back before the opening. With your shield and parry. It's a bit hard. It's a little bit hard. But if you can do it. Ha! Booyah! Build up your power, then release, release it to charge an atta a charge attack. Catch your enemies within this motion to damage them. Yes! But this problem, of course, is a problem. Ha ha! Yep. Well, you have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Yes, those skills are very useful to us. Oh, we got a guardian sword. Nice. The black. Those skills. Look, there's the fl So yeah, the flurry rush. I'll explain what the flurry rush does. It was in here first. Shields of the mind. I oh. That's useful. I think that's what I wanted me to use, but that's... Screw them. I wear what? I do what I want. A floor rush just allows you to uh, do quick f attacks. Do a backflip, a side hop. And that's it. And you'll be able to do it. Eightfold blade! Yeah, what does this look like actually? Nice. Okay. So yeah. Those those skills will be very useful to us. It's just the teaching shrine. Oppo! Nice. And we've done another shot. We've done another one. Nice. Throw it up. Okay then. Well, with that being said, 
I think it's a good time to end the episode. So thank you so for, so thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do like button, subscribe, make sure you don't miss out on future content, and hit that notification bell too. Next episode, we'll be going ahead and uh, well, uh, I don't know. We might go to the rest of the shrine because well, there's more spirit orbs we can get and more objects we can obtain and get more hearts as a result. And we might as well Kakariko. I know it's going to take a bit of time getting through the shrines. Because, yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, there's one shrine that we won't be able to do. In fact, I'll just say that now. It's this one. We need to complete a few side quests for that. But, yeah. Oh, I love Goroxy. Yay! Anyway, yeah, we'll explore Kakariko, see what's here, and we'll end the episode, and then, yeah, we'll do some other stuff. So, thank you all for watching, have yourselves a great day, and take care. Thank you. Ta-ra!